In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the mass and balance facilities uh, within the Rock and Root flight planning software. So to start, I'm going to show you the mass and balance information I have set up for an aircraft. I'm going to look at this aircraft, the Golf Romeo Romeo Tango Tango, which I have set up as a PA32 Saratoga. And if I look at the mass and balance information that I have set up for it, we have um, the uh, maximum ramp weight, max takeoff mass, maximum landing mass, and I have defined the weight and balance data here, including a default uh, uh, weight in, in the crew seats of 150 pounds. And uh, I just uh, removed this last item, and the arm for each weight position. I've also got a default maximum fuel loading of 102 US gallons, which is 614 pounds. Um, and further down you'll see that I have defined various points that define the center of gravity envelope. So I'm now going to save that information and prepare a plan. So I'm going to use that aircraft detail from Golf Romeo Romeo Tango Tango to devise a flight plan from Farnborough to La Rochelle. is LFBH. Um, it's going to be an IFR flight plan at flight level 90. Uh, click on auto route and uh, rocket route will uh, in a few seconds give me a uh, IFR flight plan which it will validate against Euro control. And you will see that. There, there we are. Success validated by Euro control. Um, so we go to the next step. and I'll just minimize some of this data so you can better see the mass and balance information. Um, so it has defaulted to the 102 US gallons on board. Um, I can obviously change that and the default uh, weights and balances set up here. Now on this particular flight, um, uh, it's a six seater, I'm going to have somebody of 177 pounds in the middle seat and uh, someone of 216 pounds in a rear seat and I shall add uh, 10 pounds of baggage in the forward baggage compartment and 30 pounds in the rear baggage compartment. Now you can see straight away that the fuel on board weight of 614 pounds has gone red um, as has the, uh, the, US, the fuel on board of 102 US gallons. Um, because uh, with that uh, weight loading of passengers and baggage I would exceed the maximum uh, ramp weight so um, and the maximum takeoff weight so what I need to do is adjust uh, the amount of fuel I have on board um, now it, in many cases it is I would have decided for example that I might have 80 US gallons of fuel on board um, and uh, that's 481.6 pounds and that is shown and if I check the view briefing now you will see that uh, all the data I've entered is calculated and plotted on the center of gravity envelope and I'm within the envelope. Uh, the colors here of the uh, zero fuel mass, the takeoff mass and the landing mass are reflected in the colors of the dots in the center of gravity envelope. Okay, well that's good. Um, but I have an additional facility. If I just wanted to see how much fuel I could carry and still stay within my maximum takeoff weight, I have a button which I can press uh, with maximum fuel and it now shows me that in fact I could uh, carry 502 pounds of fuel which is equivalent to 83 US gallons. Um, and uh, still be within my uh, uh, maximum takeoff uh, mass. I can set the endurance here depending on the power settings that I'm going to fly with. Uh, so, but I'm going to change it. I don't have 83 gallons on board. In fact, I only have 75, let us say, and that would give me three hours and 15 minutes of endurance. I'm going to set the endurance to uh, the figure that's uh, appropriate for the. Uh, power settings that I'm going to fly at. Okay, 
uh, and again if we view briefing that will be ref those changes will be reflected in that briefing now I can either file and go or I can save it for filing later um, I'm going to save it for now and it highlights the fact that I changed the endurance myself okay I now have uh, a menu of uh, options I can file and go at this stage if I wanted to or I can have a look at the flight log and or indeed uh, even if I have filed I can then come back and uh, che check the mass and balance and, and possibly change it so let's say that I that I whether I'd filed or not uh, so one of my crew has decided not to join us uh, one of my passengers decided not to join us so I'm going to change those sensor seats to zero and save that information and I can look at my revised mass and balance and there we have it now with uh, one less passenger I'm, I'm well within the center of gravity envelope as you can see there right I would just like to show you uh, finally the briefing uh, I can have a view the briefing download it as a PDF and if I look at my briefing pack that Rocket Route has generated for me I can see all of the information, my plug, fuel calculations, winds, no TAMs, weather information and indeed my mass and balance calculation. I can print that off and take it with me or I can email it or fax it to myself and when I'm ready to file and go uh, I can have a final check of the flight plan generated and the addressing and again I can uh, specify what elements of the email uh, what elements of the briefing pack I can have emailed to to my email address okay well that is a brief overview of rocket route uh, mass and balance thank you for watching